Hi everyone, our video blog this week, we stand in what I believe to be one of the most interesting buildings in our city, one of the great organizations, the Ottawa Art Gallery. We're meeting with Alexandra Badsack, who's an amazing uh, leader of the organization. Let's take a look at the reopening of the Ottawa Art Gallery, how it's done safely, how it's still welcoming, and how they're leading. I stand here on daily at one of the grand entrances of the Ottawa Art Gallery. Alex, thank you so much for being with us today, welcoming us here. The Ottawa Art Gallery is officially reopened. How's the team doing? They're great. We're so excited to be welcoming people back to their home the arts. And, and we're excited. This is a central spot for the arts in our city. Uh, I want to give you a virtual high five. You were one of the first local museums gallery uh, to reopen. You've done so safely and now a lot of the, the locals and even national, I, I see the National Gallery is reopening next week or this weekend. Uh, th this. This is a, a unique period, we keep saying it, obviously we can't forget uh, our mask and the distancing. Um, uh, what, what can people expect? Obviously you're open, or, or what hours and how can they uh, how can they take advantage of our local artists? Sure, absolutely. So we are open uh, Wednesday to Sunday and that really just gives us a, a chance to do a really deep cleaning. Uh, we're open 10 uh, to 6 p.m. every day. Oh, pretty good hours. Pretty good yeah. hours, yeah. We definitely wanted to capture anybody who's working there. would still be a chance to, to get in. Uh, we have two-hour slots, so we do ask you to pre-book. Uh, go onto our website or give us a call, uh, and we'll, we'll have an Eventbrite uh, link for you, and you'll be able to get your e-ticket so that it's contactless uh, registration. Um, and so we're timing only a certain amount of people in the building at any given time, so everybody can have a little more distance. flow, more control. Exactly. And, and what's fine with the gallery is it creates a bit of a, um, it's calm, right? So in this period where everything seems so challenging and complicated, this is a, a safe space. And I imagine this, this, this ticket is, is entirely free. Of course it is. That's so We're in this beautiful space. The Firestone Gallery. Wow. Every time, every time, I just want to stay here. Exactly. It's such a beautiful, calming space. And this year, we're so excited uh, to be celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Group of Seven's first exhibition. Wow. So it's a special year. As we know, the Group of Seven are that iconic art group that really defined the Canadian landscape. So we've been in opposition to what uh, European artists were doing. Oh, Jimmy Jackson was, was a big friend of uh, Mr. Firestone. Uh, and, uh, and Mr. Parson was able to collect some really great uh, artifacts uh, from Eli from Jackson. So uh, we have a lot of these beautiful, beautiful works, and I'm glad that we had a chance to showcase some of them. Yeah, this looks like a bit of a cottage house. Exactly. Such a uh, apropos for a summer period. That's it. Yeah, you can't get out into nature for whatever reason, this is the place to go. You know that we, we've had a very warm summer already. In a space like here, is, it's welcoming, it's, it's safe. So again, I think it's wonderful to be able to open. I love it. Yeah, yeah. It's relaxing yet fun. You know, like there's, there's this, this nice balance. Yeah. Wow. I, I've just walked into a space where my eye wants to see everything. It's very colorful. There's some amazing uh, paintings, but also some tactile components. Absolutely. You who, are. Who's done this art? This is Russell Urisky, an wow. amazing senior auto artist. Uh, this show, we really wanted to explore a side of his work that a lot of uh, people here haven't seen, which is some of the work that he did in the 60s and 70s. It's fun. It's exciting. It's it's a little, again, uh, slightly audacious. He was a farm boy, uh, and so he takes a lot of his inspiration from animals, and that's what you're seeing all over the place. And, and you know, he was really interested in just delving into his imagination and almost like free flow drawing out of that. And what came out of that is some really fun, funky uh, drawings and sculptures and paintings. Well, sculptures that were kids' play structures, like that, that to me is some of the uh, the duck boat components and, and what you've been able to replicate. That's the only thing that's closed, unfortunately, and it would have been amazing to, to oh, view the slide. But it, it it's, so hard. it's beautiful to see the gallery. I think this is one that families will want to see. Speaking of families, it's been a challenging period for all, for everyone not having schools, limited uh, camps opportunities. But we have an art gallery offering uh, in, in August. There's an opportunity for uh, an art camp. There is. We, we are offering our art camps. We do it every year. This year, unfortunately, uh, we, we can't do it live, so we are doing digital art camps. Uh, starts August 10th, uh, there's three weeks of it, um, two sessions, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. 
And the idea is uh, that we're going to bring you activities, we can give you a kit, or you can source your own materials, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, and we're going to have uh, programmed activities for you, a little free time, and then we're going to come back as a group via Zoom. Parents, kids are excited. If they want to learn more, it's on the website. You got it. I, I really encourage you to do it. I think getting out of the traditional curriculum of school and even your daily routines now and, and taking part of the uh, digital art camps is, would be an amazing opportunity. Exactly. We're seeing so many cultural institutions having to shift a little bit with, uh, with their programming onto a digital platform. We certainly have to do that with some of our wellness programming. Uh, so our creative space program that we do uh, in partnership with the Royal Mental Health uh, Program. A great partnership, I love. Thank you very much. Yeah. So we used to love to welcome all uh, of our participants every Monday. Can't do that on site, so we're doing it online. That's just one example. We also have a seniors phone program. Uh, so for those who aren't that savvy uh, online, we've got a phone program for you too. Beaucoup, beaucoup d'activités. Tons of stuff here to do at the Ottawa Art Gallery. Thank you, Alex, for the tour.